hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kobe, and this is skytech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create um custom pdf invoices for your um e-commerce e website or your woocommerce website so let's say you have a website you know um a very nice website and then you sell your product and other stuff but you want to um anytime somebody orders something you want to what you want to send them um a, a custom invoice attached to their what their other receive what invoices over there and we're going to do that in this simple video so if you are new over here i would like you to what like and subscribe to this channel okay please like this video if it's helpful to you so that um, youtube will pick it up and then it will show you to a lot of people who are also interested in this what kind of video now we're going to jump straight away to so this is where we're going to create um something similar to this one okay um just this one you can use your own um shop to also to create the same thing okay so we'll create what a pdf invoice and then also a packaging slip if you want to what ship it to what um people okay you so that you can um you know paste this one on your packaging uh, shipping boxes okay and that is exactly what we're gonna so i'm gonna close this one and then i'm gonna what also close this one and then go to what um you know my um home page over here that is the the um dashboard okay so at the dashboard of my um, admin site okay now what we're going to do is we're going to install a new plugin okay so um the plugin that we're going to install we're going to hover on plugins over here and i click on add new now we're going to install a plugin called um pdf invoice for woocommerce so let's just say pdf invoice pdf invoice just type in pdf invoice okay now after typing pdf invoice you're gonna get this pdf invoices and packaging slips for woocommerce okay this is what we want by wp overnight it have over 3000 plus active installation with um you know 1500 plus um five star reviews okay so what we're gonna do is um, we're just gonna what um click on install now and then we're gonna click on activate to activate it okay so now that we've installed and activated we're going to scroll down and then see it over here so as you can see pdf invoices and packaging slip for woocommerce now if you if you don't see it over here don't worry of course you definitely see it over here, but if you don't see it over here when you hover on woocommerce over here, you're going to see what pdf invoices what over here okay and that is it now we're going to go to a settings so click under it there are settings over there click on it and then um when you are over here what we are going to do is um of course um this is what the uh, the settings of this um pdf invoice and the packaging slips okay now, as you can see um this is the preview of it and these are the settings that we're gonna what adjust okay so um basically the settings are very simple um if you want to what open it in a new uh, the, open the pdf in a new what window or new browser tab you're going to what choose um what you want over here but if you want it to what um, just download okay you can what choose this one but of course i want to open it in a new browser so i'm going to what um, use this one and then um you know the template is just one a simple word template okay and then the paper size we have what a4 and then letter you can choose where you want and then if you want it to be on a test mode and then also extend currency symbol and then enable font sub setting you can all do and those things now of course with the logo okay i'm sure yours will not be here because i've already installed this one and then deactivated it that is why it brings me all this what all this um you know information already but yours will not be here okay this logo you wouldn't have yours over there so you need to what, set um your own um, logo so just click on what set image or set logo or whatever it is choose the logo that you want and then what insert it over there okay now with the logo height automatically or default by default it is what three centimeters okay so my i set it to at 1.5 um, centimeters over here and then you can type in your what your um you know shop name over here okay my shop name is what digital library so i typed it over here and then you can what type in your what your address now address is going to show over here see over here this is accra and then ghana okay now, of course if i use a different thing so let's say i say it is what um lagos nigeria it's going to what um it's going to reflect over here okay so it will change and then um 
what I did will what reflect over there. Yeah, so as you can see, the the reflection is what over there. Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. Now I, I will uh, let me let me just show it to you all so that you see what I'm talking about. So this is what Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. So um that is it. Now if I go back over here and then let me go to the next one so we we have done with the logo we've done with the logo height the shop name and then the address okay now you see this place over here that is the, the footer okay this place so let's let's view it in a bigger um you know let me go to the preview and go to the preview and then click over here to view it in a bigger side and then you see what i'm talking about yeah the bottom over here okay so with this bottom text over here you can what you can type it um at this place so let me just um you know go to the settings over here and i'll show you where you can type it okay so as you can see you see you see this one which says well footer terms and conditions policy etc you can type in anything that you want to type in over here for me i have written my terms and i say good sold are not returnable and then i also put in this um you know um um the 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 this um how do you even call this one I don't know if it's a slash or whatever it is but then it separates you know what i'm writing okay so i put in this one over here and then i wrote address and then i wrote to it um accra ghana so i'm going to write in with lagos nigeria over here lagos nigeria lagos nigeria and then you know the telephone number i can write in with um any telephone number that i want okay so basically um you know that is it and then when you go down we have extra template fields okay and with the extra templates field, there are three fields over here field one field two and then field three now these are premium um you know settings so if you're having the uh, premium version of this plugin you can be able to uh, use this extra template field over here now, I'm, I'm done i'm going to click on save changes because everything that i want i have what i have done it okay now after that um I'm going to go to the next one which is the document okay so you see over here document click on it to open that settings for you and then um we're going to adjust some few settings also over there so now with the document um you can choose which settings you want to what you want to adjust okay now we have the pdf and then the packaging was slip okay of course i want the um you know the invoice i mean the invoice and then the packaging slip i want the invoice i you have to what, enable it automatically it is what it is enabled automatically it is enabled now over here you can choose where you want to what, attach the what the um the invoice to okay so um processing order complete order whatever it is okay or down hold anywhere you want to what, attach the invoice to and then customer invoice okay so um if you want to manually send what um an invoice to you know your customer you can what, choose this one which is your customer invoice okay so i'm going to say maybe um, instead of processing and then completed i'm just going to say what um you know completed and then customer invoice over here and then over here if you want to disable it for what any statuses you can what you can do so okay and then also um i'm going to what cancel this one okay and then you know no shipping if you want the shipping address to be on you can what you can enable it okay and then also um display email address yes um automatically um default by default these are not what take okay i you know take that so you can what display email address display phone number display customer note okay and then also um you know invoice date invoice number okay so display invoice number and then the next invoice number um you know anyhow you want to what, set it up you can what you can do it okay so let's say you want to say maybe zero zero or whatever it is you can what you can do that okay so you can what you can save it so that um the next invoice number will be what zero zero whatever it is and then the um you know the um the number format okay so the number format we have a prefix over here which is what which is um dl okay so dl means what digital library that is my site name okay so i just use the prefix over there and then you know any other settings that you want to set especially um account invoice download so if you want you know your customers to be able to download the invoice from the account you make sure that you what you um, set it up only when an invoice is already created an email so when an invoice is already created an email the person can go ahead and then what download it from what the account site 
only for specific account um, other statuses and then always and then never okay so if you want always to be what download from there you can choose and then if you don't want them to download also you can also what choose it and then also if you want to enable invoice number column in the others list okay and then enable invoice date column in the others list all of them you can what um, do it and then if you want to disable for free orders okay you can also uh, choose to do that so when all is done you can click on what uh, save changes over here okay so that is what for the invoices now let's go ahead and then you know select a different one which is the packaging what packaging slip okay so we're going to choose a setting for the what for the packaging slip so with the packaging slip also um how you want it to, uh, to be so as you can see this is the default um packaging slip that will come okay so um you know attached to you have to upgrade to the what to the premium version to be able to get um you know the extension to able to attach and then um display billing address if you want to display the billing address you can what you can display it only when um different um different from shipping address or always okay so um, if you want to display billing address you can also what um display it and then also um uh, display email address so you can also what um display your email address display phone number okay anyhow you want to what you want it to done to be done you can do so okay so let me see this one and this one okay okay so the email address and then the word the phone number will be what will be displayed over there okay and that is it so um when all is set uh, all is done you can what click on what um save changes over here to save the changes now the next settings is the statuses and for that one it is not really needed so i'm not going to what even what go ahead over there now let's test it and see if everything what works perfectly so now um let's go to our store and then you know order something from what our store and then um let's see how it works so um all our products are over here so let's say we want to what we want to order this um seven habits of highly effective people um we want to what um, go ahead and then order it okay and then let's see we're gonna get an invoice for it so let's go ahead and then view the cart and then we go ahead to what proceed to what to check out okay so this is what our checkout so we're gonna fill everything that we have to fill and then we what we accept terms and conditions and then we go ahead to uh, to borrow um to place order or to borrow now this one is what uh, borrow because i changed the order uh, place order text to uh, to borrow because this is um uh, you know uh, a bookstore where we borrow books and other stuff so now checkout is what is um done now i'm going to take you to what the email okay so as you can see I have received what an email over here which says what um, order has been what received and then the invoice is what is over there okay and that is what and that is it so now if i go to um if i go to you know my um how do you call it my order the, the back end and then i go to orders over there i'm going to see an order which has been received but have not been what um paid yet okay it's processing so if i want to what um you know confirm or complete the order i can click on the orders over here let me just click on the orders over here and then um you know i can go ahead and then change it from processing to what to complete over here now as you can see this pdf invoice is not what is not created because it's not sent okay when it's created it will be what take over here or it'll be marked over here so now let's go ahead and then you know change it from processing to what complete okay and then let's click on what update over here now as you can see at the moment we updated it it says what um it has been ticked what green over here which means that um we will get an email in our what in our inbox over there which is having what you know the the others um the 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 pdf over here so this is the invoice that we what we are looking at okay so this one is the invoice that we are what we are looking at which is the um the invoice that we want dl2 okay that is the exact invoice that we want let's let's see it so as you can see this is what seven habits of what highly effective people okay 
now let me check this one and see which one is ah, okay so this one was the first order that i created okay that is why it is has been what it has been attached to it okay but exactly if you go into the what the mail over here you realize that um this is the what the invoice that we what we are looking at okay so um we go ahead and then over here you see what the invoice over here you can go ahead and then what download it if you want it okay if you want to what, download it and as you can see we can view it and then we have our what our invoice created for us okay automatically so as you can see the logos nigeria everything is what is working perfectly the other number you know the other date the invoice date everything is what um you know um there for us for to what to see so the client will get um the invoice what in their what in their um email as um, it's supposed to what be done okay and that is it so if you also want to what maybe the client did not receive an email or whatever it is and then the client wants to what um, you know receive email so you see customer invoice over here you can click over here and then you know save order and then send what email okay so it is still going to what, send an email to the what to the customer again because the customer maybe did not receive the what the email okay so as you can see um, another email has been what you know invoice for order one blah 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 over here and it's what it has been you know attached over here okay and this is what the invoice number over here and the invoice pdf invoice over here the customer can be able to uh, download it and then you know use it for whatever thing that the person wants to use it for so guys this is how you can be able to create a pdf for invoice for it now as you can see the pdf invoice is created what about the packaging slip now packaging slips are mostly used for what for um using the in the business itself so it is the owner of the business that use the packaging slips to be able to ship whatever goods that the customer bought to uh, to them okay so what we are going to do is um um let's say i am the owner at the same time and i want to uh, see the what the packaging slip i just click over here okay i'm going to see the packaging slip that i will be pasting on the what on the um you know on the package okay so as you can see the order number the order date you know the um packaging um address and then you know the email address and everything of the person okay and then you know data library address and then our logo and then the other quantity all this one will be what used um we would attach it or paste it on the what on the um how do you call it the package to be sent to the what to the um the customer so we have the what the packaging slip and then we also have the what the pdf invoice okay so thank you for watching guys thank you for watching and then um see you in the next video please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if this video really helps you please give the video a thumbs up and then you know it will help the U youtube algorithm to for it to reach um wider people who also need this kind of what content okay so see you in the next video thank you for watching bye bye